Shame on anyone that is praying today instead of reacting before. Manuel Oliver, the parent of a teenager killed in a Florida school shooting, is reacting to this. We're coming on the air with breaking news of mass casualties after a mass shooting at Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia. Right now. Soon after the news broke that several students had been shot, Georgia Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene wrote on X, Please join me in prayer for all the students, staff, and families at Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia. They're praying. They're asking us to pray. And everyone is listening to that. Republican Mike Collins represents the Georgia District. He wrote, Leanne and I are praying for the victims, their families, and all students at Appalachia High School in Barrow County. That he's asking us to pray, to join his family and pray. That is not enough and that is not working. And, and, and meanwhile, I'm here. I'm here in D.C. with my wife on tour, trying to prevent these things from happening. We've been all around the country. And that school bus behind me is exactly making that statement. I was live this morning while this shooting was taking place. So what do we do now? We, we make the schools more secure. We, we, we have to put more metal detectors or, or should we arm teachers? And of course, I'm being ironic right now. Shame on anyone that is praying today instead of reacting before. Shame indeed, because prayers are clearly not working. And on this day, four dead and Georgia high school shooting officials say at least nine people were hospitalized with injuries. Uh, obviously, what you see behind us uh, is an evil thing today. At about 930 this morning, we received the first call that there was an active shooter in this, on, on this campus. According to the Washington Post, more than 382,000 students have experienced gun violence at school since Columbine in 1999. There have been 416 school shootings since then. Through the years, Republicans have repeatedly blocked restrictions on gun purchases and have thwarted background checks. Meanwhile, Republicans have promoted guns in their political campaigns. Here's Georgia's Marjorie Taylor Greene. Now I'm doing a gun giveaway of my own, but for Americans only. I want you to win this 50 caliber rifle that Democrats will ban if they keep the House next year. Congressman Mike Collins, who represents the district where the Georgia shooting happened, has promoted his guns while also espousing baseless 2020 election conspiracy theories. Hey, Mike Collins here, you pro-Trump America first trucker, running for Congress here in Georgia 10. Well, I understand, oh, Joe Biden was in town yesterday to talk about our elections. It seems that he and Kamala Harris called anyone who disagreed with the federal hijacking of this election a racist. Well, Joe, I got some news for you. Let me tell you what Georgians really believe. First of all, you count the legal votes that were cast in the state of Georgia. Donald Trump won this state, period. Number two, get rid of those voting machines. Go back to paper ballots once and for all. Number three, get rid of those ridiculous drop boxes across this state that the Democrats use to stuff the ballots and steal our elections. Number four, let's go to national forensic audits in every election cycle across this country. As a matter of fact, it's one of the first bills I'll introduce when I get to Washington. You see, Georgians are sick and tired of weak need, spineless politicians who won't fight for Trump, get to the bottom of 2020, and fix our elections. Well, if they won't do it, Mike Collins will. Send me to Washington. I'll fix this election. I'll get to the bottom of 2020, and I will fight for Trump's America First agenda. Well, his constituents sent him to Washington, where Collins has been one of the more extreme right-wingers in the U.S. House. And that effort has included repeatedly blocking common-sense gun regulations. In 1994, the Clinton administration, with help from Congress, banned assault weapons. The measure lasted for 10 years, and during that time, it is a historical fact that mass shootings and school shootings dropped. Then, after the assault weapons ban was allowed to lapse during the George W. Bush administration, mass shootings and school shootings went up. And they've been going up for 20 years. The year 2022 saw the highest number of school shootings in U.S. history. The only thing that has been reliable for most Republicans on this issue is the invocation of prayer every time there's another act of gun violence. Pray for our school children. Pray for their families. Pray for our communities. 
Well, as far as most Americans are concerned, those prayers and the guns can go to hell. Polls show a clear majority of Americans support common sense gun reforms, including banning assault weapons. A majority of Americans want our lawmakers to take direct action, never mind praying to some deity that may or may not exist. Here's Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris. We're still gathering information about what happened, but we know that there were multiple fatalities and injuries. And, um, you know, our hearts are with all the students, the teachers, and their families, of course. And we are grateful to the first responders and the law enforcement that were on the scene. But this is just a senseless tragedy on top of so many senseless tragedies. And it's just outrageous that every day in our country, in the United States of America, that parents have to send their children to school worried about whether or not their child will come home alive. It's senseless. It, it is, we've got to stop it. And we have to end this epidemic of gun violence in our country once and for all. You know, it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. A way in which all that our communities can do is pray. To be clear, most Americans are not opposed to prayer or faith or religion. If praying for anybody's safety or health is your thing, that's fine. But it is long past time to change the focus and pray that Republicans in Congress will finally come to their senses and join Democrats in passing common sense gun regulations. Our school children need more than just requests of the Almighty. They need more background checks, more mental health tracking, and a political leadership in this country that cares as much about public safety as they seem to care about the Bible. In the meantime, prayers are not enough, and they have become a cheap political tool for conservative Republicans who clearly don't even read the Bible to try and appeal to evangelical Christian voters. Our students, our schools, and our communities deserve better. By the way, Kamala Harris has widened her lead and Donald Trump is losing ground in the latest presidential polls. A very good sign. Exactly what you want coming out of the convention. It is the polling news about the harris Wolves campaign that Democrats had been hoping for. New numbers from USA Today and Suffolk University show Harris ahead by five points, 48% to 43%. The same polling organization in June found Biden behind Trump, 41 to 38. That's an eight-point swing in two months. The Harris surge is even stronger in specific demographics. In June, 18 to 34 year olds favored Trump by 11. Now they are with Harris by 13, a 24 point swing. With Hispanic voters, it's an 18 point swing. Among black voters, the movement is plus 17. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from RT420 who wrote, if you are sick of all the lies and MAGA chaos, vote blue in November. I hear you. I look forward to reading your comments about Republican lawmakers getting ripped in the wake of school shootings for only offering prayers. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.